Hello viewers, this is Paladin of Odin, and this is some more Magic the Gathering Online. This is a one-on-one -on -one legacy match, and this is episode 3 of the Orox deck. I actually got a halfway decent starting hand, so... Let's see if we can uh, manage anything other than abject failure. So we've got a pretty streamlined run. Second turn Werebear, third turn... Four land... four mana, so Cultivate... And he's playing a 246-card dex, or 48, no, more than that, his hand size. Anyway, so he's just playing a, a deck that's funny. I kind of wish that I had brought one of my funny decks. Not that this deck isn't funny. But I do have giant decks that I could have brought. But there's no way for you to know if your opponent's playing a giant deck unless they put it in the uh, description saying, you know, 250 plus decks only, please, or things like that. Um, you kind of have to let your own thing resolve, dude. Come on. There you go. Hmm. I think I will. Just because I have another one. I don't want to get overconfident, but at this point, I can chain Orox Herd turn after turn. Unless he has something good. And at the moment, it looks like he's just playing green blue. But usually when I'm running a deck that big, I make it all five colors, just because it makes it that much funnier. Hmm. What does it say? Yeah, I kind of just have to let him go through with that one. If I had blocked, though, I could have played Acidic Slime and killed uh, one of his land. Uh, I would have been a complete dick doing so.
You got one mana, one blue mana. There are plenty of uh, counter spells that he could have right now. But he didn't have them, so that's good for me. Guy is awfully slow. And I'm going to go with another Orox herd. <laughs> oh, nice try. And I have to be honest, I was not expecting Battle of Wits. <laughs> I love the flavor text on that. <laughs> Whenever you cast a creature spell, this turn draw a card. Might as well go for the face punch.
So this particular game, we pretty much have this on lock, unless he can uh, get rid of the Orox herd itself or the Blanchwood armor. Though the herd itself is still good for four trample. And theoretically, I could draw another Blanchwood armor. Man, this guy is slow. I mean, seriously, I know for a fact that when it has a limited search thing like that, that the game itself separates all the cards that are legal targets so that you have a ni neat, nice, neat little list to look at. Granted, he probably had, you know, like, a hundred targets f to go through to decide which one do I actually want and he wanted a Zuri which really isn't gonna help he's got six mana seven with Quirion Elf or Quirion Ranger He's still got to deal with the Blanchwood armor or the herd. Regeneration isn't going to help. Just waiting on you to realize or play something good. Uh, why does this keep happening? You know, I've never seen a candidate for running out of time in a single game, but this guy is looking like it. He is honestly probably the slowest player that I've ever seen.
So, let's see your trick. If you have one. And to be perfectly honest, he had me with that battle of wits if it hadn't been for that draw of both the acidic slimes. If I hadn't had both of those, I would have been done. Chain of vapor. Then that permanent may sack. If this player does, he may copy the spell and choose a new copy. So, next turn I could play Auroch Herds, or Auroch's Herd, get another Auroch, whichever one I feel like, probably another Bull Aurochs. and then for the next two turns after that I could play two Aurochs a turn.
and just wait for the right opportunity. six mana mm -hmm. so he could activate mm -hmm. both make this a 4-4 four, four trample mm -hmm. and regenerate it so if I double block he'll have to pay two and regenerate to keep it alive well, yeah, I think so, because he'll have to pay for the death touch and for the lethal damage. Because making it a 4-4 at this point won't help him. Cost five. One regeneration isn't going to keep it alive. Um, that shouldn't have happened. The lethal da the damage. Sure, the Death Touch should have been its own separate regeneration. Good lord, man. Can you not just sit there for like 10 seconds every time something happens? You have five cards in your hand, dude. Either you're gonna do something or you're not. Still waiting.
Congratulations, you've used 20 minutes of your timer on game one. I've never actually seen anyone do that before, so congratulations, you set a new record in my book. think I should do. You know what? I think I will set up the Orox so that I have them out and ready to go. Hmm. Four cards in his hand. Four mana. No, I'm just going to wait. What did you do? Echoing Truth. That isn't really going to help you. I've got eight mana now, so I can uh, just go for the plain old Orox with this one. Because I have eight mana. He's just fueling my stampede by bouncing Orox herd. And he's killing himself by taking so long to let me resolve a trigger. So we'll just go with the vanilla Orox. We'll throw down the other bull Orox. We are going to pass. I know it's not all that exciting to watch me just throw down creatures and then pass, but because of their ability, the more Orox that I have, the better. So, let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So he can only boost them once. They would be a total of 15 damage. I am going to at least block that. Granted, if he uh, has a anything like a giant growth, I mean, that would be the perfect amount to kill me. And I could have done something about it. I could have blocked more, but uh, I chose not to because I'm trying to make sure that I can kill him in a single swing. Now, I haven't seen him have any boosts at all. 
So there's no reason for me to think that he does, but the mere fact that he's playing green, you can't rule it out. Okay, boost your guys. Regenerate that guy. Now, I'm wondering if he has some type of a fog effect. If he does, then I'm pretty much... I'm pretty much shit out of luck. Okay, he's got green. I was thinking I could, uh... Acidic slime and kill one of his uh, lands, but let's see. Now that he has two green, it doesn't really matter. Throw out as many creatures as I can, and then I'll just swing in. Hope it's enough. Because all of my guys have trample. And I only need six damage. Well, there you go, folks. I won. There's not going to be a second game. So, if you liked what you saw, hit that like and subscribe button for me, and I will see you next time.